guys, it's Liz, and today I'm going to show you products I regret buying. How happy? Why am I happy? I don't know. Just keep in mind when I show you these, it doesn't mean I don't use them anymore, because I think that's a complete waste of money if you don't use the products you buy. Use them, but I'm not that fond of them. So yeah, because it's a waste of money if you just be like, oh, I'm not going to use you because I don't like you. It's like, I paid money for that, girl. First product I regret buying are these... Loyal Paris Hip Jelly Bombs, and I know everyone loves these, well, most people I'm subscribed to love these to death, and I'm like, what? I ordered these off of Amazon for like two bucks, so it wasn't like a huge rip off, but I got mine in Ripe, which is a like a reddish color. These are really cool looking though, and then, um, I have to say that, and then I got one in Plush which is like a bait pink color. And these, the first time I ever touched them, and I'm like, I'm not gonna like these at all because I don't like really sticky material, like lip products, and this is so, so sticky. So it says high pigmentation. Honestly, I don't see the pigmentation that much. But um, these are just so sticky, and when I think hip jelly bombs, I think of bombs, which means freaking moisturize, so these don't moisturize at all. The next thing I regret buying is this brush from Essence of Beauty. Now, I'm fond... Why do I keep saying fond? I'm fond about Essence of Beauty brushes, aka the CBS brushes. I think they're really good quality, and they're amazing, like, deal price more eyeshadows. I've only really tried their eyeshadow brushes. So I tried out some powder brushes, well, this powder brush, and then I got, like, a foundation brush and concealer brush. I love those two, but... This powder brush, it just sheds, like, amazingly. Like, I don't know why it's not shedding right now. Why? Like, do you see those strands coming out? It's like one, and then there's two, and then when I put it on my face, there's, like, five. It, I feel like it has to have powder for a sticky material. Well, not sticky, but, like, a more kind of material. But this is just way too shetty for me. I don't mean, I don't clean my brushes really at all because it's so much of a hassle. I mean, who has the time with my schedule? I don't have a busy schedule. So, um, but these just shed so much. I don't know why it's not shedding right now. And then I have this contouring blush and bronzing palette from e.l.f. And holy crap, this is a duo, not a palette. Holy crap, everyone loves this. Pretty People love these. They're like, it's compared to the NARS Orgasm and NARS Laguna Bronzer. No, no. don't. Why are you saying that? Why are you saying that? Honestly, not at all. It doesn't compare to all. Now, I don't have either one, but I've seen YouTube videos with people wearing um, the NARS one and Laguna Bronzer. I'm like, wow, they have light skin as me or even lighter, and it doesn't look like mud smothered on their face or you had a mud fight with someone. And then the blush, I don't think I'm going to get the orgasm blush, honestly, because I'm not into shimmers, but um, people said the ones not like the orgasm blush. So here's a swatch of the bronzer, very muddy looking, and then here's a swatch of the blush, and that's just way too shimmery for me. Now this is three bucks, so I could see why people like this, but I seem like the tannest girl I've ever seen probably on YouTube wear this, and it, it looks muddy on her. So... These are definitely not good. Next thing is foam cover girl. And this is called a concealer stick. I don't know what it's called. But this is what it looks like. And it's a pretty good concealer, I have to say. But the thing I don't really like about this, it dries my face out so so much. And I have really odd skin. Like I do have oily skin, I and dry skin, so I have combination skin. But I have more dry skin usually, and even if I put moisturizer on, I still get really lots of flakes. And I've seen people on YouTube, like, not even put moisturizer on for the everyday face routine, and they have really dry skin. And I'm like, how do you not get flakes? I am so mad, because I get flakes. So, yeah, this is just drying me out way too much. I don't think, actually, the concealer consistency isn't that good either. I mean... All it could cover up is probably under eye circles good. But it's kind of hard to blend in because it's not moisturizing at all. So next thing I have is the e.l.f. concealer, and which has powder on it. It's the e.l.f. concealer from the studio line, and it just looks like this. And here's a swatch of it. And you blend it in. Okay, let me blend it. 
and it doesn't even look like it's there. Honestly, I used this on my acne one day, because, you know, acne teenager. I used this on my acne one day. I'm like, did I use concealer? Honestly, it doesn't do anything whatsoever. It just makes it, my face more dry. And I hate this concealer. I literally hate it because I wasted money on this thing. And it, I, maybe it works good for under eye circles. I don't know. I don't have those. I don't have dark circles at all. But I know it doesn't work good on acne. Now the next thing I don't like is this Voluminous Million Lashes from L'Oreal Paris. Now I've heard a few people say like, I don't really like it. But like, mostly I've heard people say they like it. So I don't know what's up with them. Like, what are they taking? But like... Looks like that. I hate this. I hate clumps to death. I hate them so, so much. And I use like a brush that looks like, I feel like this is such a negative video. Oh well. I use a brush that looks like this. I got this from Claire's of Family's Learning. And you use this on this side and just like brush it through your lashes to get the clumps out. And I did it with this and honestly, I cannot get all the clumps out. This is like so clumpy. I cannot handle it. It's horrendous. Maybe it's because I got the waterproof kind, but it's not good. And then my last thing, you guys might be surprised if you saw my foundation routine. Because this is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. The one thing that fooled me in this product right here is moisturizing lotion. It's not moisturizing lotion. Don't put it on before you put on your face product. Because it's a gentle exfoliator. And it's, like, really good for your hands, I would say. But I cost, like, $35 or maybe more for this thing. And complete waste of money. Cause don't fool, be fooled by them. Because I see, like, people use that as their lotion. So, yeah. And, like I said, I really messed up skin. Like, it's flaky and stuff. So, it definitely did not work for that. I'll talk to you guys later. And if you have any beauty video requests, please leave it in the comments below. And I feel like I mumbled a ton right there. So I'll talk to you guys later and bye.